Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, James. Um, I'm back. I've been gone for, like, a couple of weeks because I've been busy. You know, I had a lot of stuff going on. But um, I'm back and ready to show y'all some more um, new collectibles that I bought from my um, local Walmart. So um, here we go. The reason why I got these um, M2 cars out is because I bought three more M2 M2 cars, uh, very unique pieces that I uh, that I picked that I really wanted. Um, there's some more that I, that I got to get to. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna buy, it. but um, had a decent time shopping. Uh, it was got a couple hours, but uh. I happened to bump into him. I really wasn't buy, trying to buy anything today, but I seen him and I'm like, okay, I might as well pick him up now before I, before I deny myself of, uh, you know, trying to um, get him. So I bought him. So here we go. It's going to be a short video. So um, this is from the Detroit Muscle Edition from M2 Machines. Um, the first car I'm going to show you is a 1968 um, Barracuda Hemi Super Stalker. This is this is nice. I like this. The reason why I got it is because it looked like the car is getting redone. Or it's done, but it has, has no paint. It's like a primer and the black primer and the gray primer. It looks so nice. So I'm going to open this up so you can see it, see it up close. I really, really enjoy collecting. Like I said, I've been doing this for some years, so and my collection is getting very, very huge. And every time I buy stuff, there always got to be unique pieces. So if not, um, I end up buying some BS. I don't like buying no BS, so I like to buy unique stuff. So here we go, 1968 Player Barracuda Hammy Super Stock. Um, this one right here, right here got the uh, dual quad 426 Hammy under the hood, as you can see. Um, the, de the detail on this car is awesome. Like I said, it has a, it has a gray primer with the gray with the black primer. Also it has the the uh, Hemi. Ram Charger uh, hood scoop, and also the M, as far as these M2 cars, the door is open. So this is very nice. I'm glad I got it. Uh, I think just I think it was the only one they had there, so I had to get it. See the uh, the rear tail lights and the bumper. I like this uh, Fair A bodies from uh, the late '60s. Before they came out with the um, the Dodge Dart, which is this right here. But like all the A body cars, um, including the Fastback Barracuda, this is a, this is a nice piece. Um, so, show you another one that I bought. Let's drop that. Um, this is. Um, I had to get this one. 1971 Plymouth Cuda with the 446 pack. Like I said, I'm I'm getting kind of I'm getting pretty um what's the word I'm looking for? I really didn't like M2 cars at first, but I'm starting to collect them because I got every other brand that I collect, like Auto World, uh John Li Johnny Lightning, Green Light. Um, and got some Hot Wheels stuff too, but I'm also just put that in my um, in my uh, style of collecting now. It's the M2 cars. And yes, I know they get a lot of flack of being fragile, but uh, I collect when I collect stuff. I always take care of my stuff, so it's not like I play with them or nothing. Just show them as a showpiece. But here we go. Nineteen seventy one.
Flaming Barracuda. Actually, this is the second Barracuda that I bought today because I bought the 68. Which this one is, this one is, uh, this one is nice too. So, um, yes. This right here is all black. It has the 440 with this, uh, six barrel carbureted, uh, 440. It's triple black. Well, ain't triple black, the interior is tan. And it has the, uh, I had to get this because of the, the, uh, the back window. This is, I think this would be my second Barracuda that I have. Actually, third now. No, I'm lying, four. I got four now. So I got another one in Auto World. In Auto World, it's 1964. It's the early version of this car right here. So I got, then also I have... I also have the um, drop top that I bought a couple of weeks ago. This is a Johnny Lightning. But anyway, back to this car right here. The hood closes. Like I said, you know, M2 cars are very, very unique with the with the um, parts they put in their cars. You know, the doors open. I believe these cars come with, uh, I think, 6,888 80 pieces. It comes with the car, so it's a very unique piece. I like it. I had to get it. I'm also I'm, I'm a Mopar fan, too, so look at uh, the wheels on there. Got them uh, bias ply tires. Good years. Look at the uh, rear tail light. The rear tail lights. Got the 1971 on the um, on the license plate. Also, if you can see closely, you can see the uh, the uh, 440 badging on the uh, hood and the uh, hood pins. It was very unique in every muscle car that came out back in the 70s. Like to me, as far as the muscle car era, 71. Was the last model year of the muscle car. Um, when 72, 73, and 74 came along, everybody started sucking them V8s dry and, you know, the oil, the oil crisis was going on around that time. So all the muscle cars at, at, at their heyday that had performance didn't have the full performance uh, as they did from the early days of the muscle car era. Except for one car, which I which I don't have in my collection, is the uh, 1973 to 74 Pontiac uh, Firebird um, Stage Two. I think I'm saying that right. As the uh, no no I'm sorry not Stage Two. It's a Super Duty Trans Am with Super Duty 455. It made gobs of horsepower for for uh, 73 to 74. And, you know, that was the only muscle car that had, you know, horsepower over 300 horsepower. So, yeah. Well, back to the Mopars. That's the 71. Plenty of Barracuda. Also, I got this. I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a big Dodge Charger fan. Um, I like the all, I like all the body styles through 1966 through 70 and 71. Don't have no 71. In my um, I had no thirty one in my collection, but I do now, which I bought this one right here. It's a nineteen seventy one Dodge Charger SE with the three eighty three big block in it. So I'm gonna open this up for you, so you can look at it closely. Very, very nice piece. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
1971 Dodge Charger SE383. This is a very unique color with the white, um, the white top. It also has the green interior, so it's green on green with the white top. 71 was the, the pinnacle of the muscle car era, like just like the uh, it's like the 71 uh, Barracuda. This right here has the four barrel 383, but also came with the 400 and the 440. Also came with the uh, 426 Hemi, was the 1971 was the last production year of the 426 Hemi, and they it. It came with this car and the 71 Barracuda and the Challengers, so on and so on, so on and so forth. Um, this is a 383, got to be a four barrel, so it probably be, probably was making at least 300 horsepower. Now, 71 is not really, I don't think that was a decent horsepower number, because like I said, the 71, the compression ratios was going down, so. But if you had a 440, you were still getting... The, uh, the amounts of torque that you was getting him and the amounts of horsepower like uh, I think it was like three, it said 375 it was making like 300 and probably 360 same you know same torque 400, 400 I think 480 or 470 pound feet of torque the 440's and the big blocks from Mopar was very very bulletproof you know they used to use those for the, uh, for, the uh, for the police cars back in the day so yeah, here it is. 1971 Dodge Charger. This would be the first one in my uh, collection in this body style. So I got I got two 66s, which is, they are M2s, which I bought at my thrift store that I usually uh, usually uh, shop at, which I might, might do probably tomorrow. I got these a couple of uh, months ago. Let me move this up. It's out the way. Bought these a couple of um, a couple of weeks back. That was a couple of months ago. It was like a couple of weeks back. Um, also got some uh, green light, some green light Dodge uh, Chargers. This is one of them from um, the Bandit series, the Black Bandit series. Also have this. Also have I got three sixty eights of this car. I got one from the Bullet movie. The, uh, the getaway car and I have another one from um, Christine if you remember the car that uh the, the I think it was the blue charger from the Christine movie that uh, his best friend was driving in the movie I got that too so I'll probably show that in the, in the future video but yeah here we go these are the cars that I bought today I said I wasn't planning on looking. It's, it's like every time I go to the store, I'm never planning on buying anything. But I bought some today, and I'm glad I got them. Almost had another Chevrolet, uh, Chevy, uh, Chevy, uh, Chevelle SS, but I had to. I had too much stuff. I won't plan on buying the whole store, so I'm gonna go. I might go back and get it. But there it is. It's the new, um, new cars for my. Um, collection I'm so happy I got this one because I love cars that look like this they look like it's need need the the paint job or something like that just like the charger that I got over there but yeah those are the cars that I got very very nice for M2 like I said I got a love hate relationship with, with this uh, brand but the cars are detailed too just the way just like the other cars that I buy um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Had a nice time doing it. Sorry if I was talking too much, but I um, mean, you know, I'm just, just showing you the or letting you know the info about what I usually do. And by that being said, I'm out. Y'all keep on, I keep on collecting.